In this video, we can see the basic working function of the water-cooled chiller plant. Water-cooled chiller plant has five equipments. Water-cooled chiller, condenser water pump, chilled water pump, cooling tower and AHU. There are two important parts in chiller, evaporator and condenser. AHU and chilled water pump are connected to the evaporator. Cooling tower and condenser water pump are connected to the condenser. Next, chilled water pump and condenser water pump. These two pumps are supplying water to the AHU and cooling tower. Next, AHU. Its job is to provide well-cooled air to the room using the water that come from the evaporator of the chiller. Cooling tower. It reduces the temperature of the water coming from the condenser and sends it back to the condenser. Now, let's see its basic work. The cooling tower and the condenser water pump are connected to the condenser of the chiller. The AHU and the chilled water pump are connected to the evaporator of the chiller. The temperature of the water entering the cooling tower is 35 degrees Celsius. The cooling tower lowers the temperature of the water, leaving the cooling tower at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. This cycle continues. Chilled water pump sends the water from evaporator to the AHU. The temperature of the water entering the AHU is 6 degrees Celsius. The AHU takes the cooling in that water and sends the water out at a temperature of 12 degrees Celsius. Then, the water goes to the evaporator and gets cooled and then again goes back into the AHU. This is the basic working principle of water-cooled chiller. We will see the details about each of these equipments in subsequent videos.